to the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Disease, kidney stones affect around 11% of men and 6% of women in the U.S. during their lifetime. We sit down with Dr. Andrea Chan, Medical Director of Urology with Community Health Partners to learn more about kidney stones and how to prevent them. Kidney stones are basically minerals that um, your body excrete um, in the urine, so like byproduct of metabolism, and the minerals can kind of collect and saturate and they can form like little tiny rocks. They're called kidney stones because they're formed in the kidney, obviously because the kidney produces the urine that your body you know, is trying to get rid of. One of the most common reasons for kidney stones can be dehydration or not drinking enough water. There are also people who are just genetically prone to forming kidney stones. Another pos uh, reason for having kidney stones is if you had any kind of uh, you know, gastrointestinal surgery, or if you have any other, you know, GI problems like Crohn's disease, but also of diet that's high in salt um, and high in oxalates, which we can see in like fast foods and those kind of things. Another high oxalate containing food is actually nuts. So a lot of people don't realize this, but nuts are generally thought of as very healthy for you. But almonds are actually one of the higher containing, uh, oxalate containing foods. Oftentimes, kidney stones can be extremely painful. Symptoms may include sharp pain in your side, back or lower abdomen, and even pain while urinating. And those symptoms are actually when the kidney stones are trying to pass. So when you have the kidney stones and they're just kind of in your body, if they're not trying to pass, you may not know that you have them. Smaller stones are more likely to pass on their own, but larger stones might be more difficult. The kidneys are connected to the bladder with a small tube, it's called the ureter, and the tube is pretty much only about three or four millimeters in diameter, although it is elastic, so it can stretch out. But if they get big enough, they can cause blockage of the urine flow from the kidney, and that can actually cause kidney damage. Dr. Chan recommends drinking plenty of water to prevent kidney stones and regular visits with your primary care physician. Sometimes your body can get used to having some kind of blockage and you don't have any more symptoms and you think everything's fine, but in actuality, it's still there and it's causing some issues. If kidney stone symptoms present themselves with pain or nausea, seek medical care immediately.